you emphasize that uh, in order to keep your company on the top, the, the, the employees should realize that there are other competitors having equally brainy engineers who are working on similar products. Uh, now, as a CEO of a company, what other motivation strategies do you have for your employees so that your company is on the top? Yeah. So first of all, um, as I say that, I also want to make sure that um, you know every single engineer of our company and every engineer that's out in the audience understand understood what I meant. Okay. Um, it is true that there are great students everywhere. You guys obviously recognize that. It is true there are great engineers everywhere. But it is the company's choice. It is the company's choice to figure out and decide who to let in and who not to. It is the company's choice to select among all of those great engineers. It is the company's choice to decide what kind of engineers, irrespective of their talent, but also their character and their, and their personalities um, and their value systems to let into the company. It is our choice. That choice ultimately goes into what the bucket I call culture. We are intensely selective in our company with respect to engineers. We hire, we make offers. This is a statistic that I just recently learned. We make offers to one-tenth, 10% of the people we interview. Out of those 10%, 95% accept our offers. And so we happen to be intensely selective when it comes down to the people that we, we bring to our company. Not just alone in their intelligence, but also their heart, you know, and also their courage. We try to figure out whether this person has brains, guts, and heart in the process of the interview. And that's why people say, gee, NVIDIA sure has a rigorous interviewing process. It's because we're trying to select the people that we want to work with. And it's, again, no different than a football team. You know, as a, as a quarterback, you want to know that when you let the ball go, the wide receiver is going to be there to catch the ball. You don't want to be questioning it. You, you want to know you have the world's best wide receiver. That person also has to be your teammate. You have, there needs to be an element of trust, element of respect. And so I think that the selection process, which is what the culture does, okay, and the, the retention process, which is what the culture permits, is very important to me. Not everybody likes working at NVIDIA. And, I, and people have heard me say, say that NVIDIA is an institution, but we're not a church or a prison. Not everybody gets to come. Not everybody has to stay. But the people that do love working there because we give them terrific projects, we give them extraordinary resources, and we also give them teammates that they know they can count on. That, I think, falls into the realm of culture, and that sets us apart. The reason why a lot of people in the Silicon Valley thinks that we have one of the best engineering organizations in the world is because of that, that self-selection process that makes it possible for us to retain quality.